Oh, 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 oh! What's up, everybody? It's the gang twist coming at ya, and let me introduce you to Between These Walls. I feel like almost, not all of them, but majority of the indie games that I and a lot of other gamers play always have to do with uh, like a, a home, your home, a new home, the home you've been living in, a home you're moving out of, a home that's not your home, but you're in that home. Honestly, a lot of these indie games always have something to do with the home that you are staying at or just something of the sort. So between these walls, I just moved to a new apartment, apparently. And as the days go on, strange things start to occur. So as soon as you said strange things start to occur, that's when I'm just already uh, down for it. Don't like the poster. To be honest, I love the poster, but oh my God, I'm loving the details. I'm loving the details. You got me right off the bat. I'm loving it. Do I have to jump right into that letter? I like it, but okay. Let me just, let me go ahead and read. Hello, son. Your father and I are pretty furious about the way you left us with your previous apartment. You disappeared so fast. What happened? Are you still having your hallucinations? Are you, you, you're telling me that you just dipped out on the home and you're having hallucinations? I don't want to add a little bit of extra, a little bit more on top of it, but also you listen to heavy death metal. You got satanic type of like band posters on the wall. You hallucinate. All this is just not pointing to the, to something good, man. Um, you disappeared so fast. What happened? Are you still having your hallucinations? Also, we couldn't join you by phone. So your father suggested I write you a letter. I know I, wait, I know you and I know you are fine, but God, why are you always so theatrical? You should have warned us. You know. We had to find your address ourselves. Now, please contact us as soon as possible. We will not run after you. Yes. By the way, why are there still so much cardboard boxes in the old apartment? The place is filled with these, what? Oh, filled with these. And then there's a photo and it looks like there's something going on over there. Or is that just the radio? Okay. Was that it? Just like your apartment is filled with these. Oh, I can't even. Can I come back? Oh, the place is filled with these. See the photography. Okay. Cool. What is that down there? Is that a, a save thing? Oh, is there anything out there just like looking at me while I'm... I see something right there i don't know what that is do you see that right there oh can i see that out the other window oh i can't even get up there okay can i okay yeah i'm gonna say suffering ah i don't know if i want to do that shut that we're still investigating in here all right we will go now now i'm feeling up i am outside my apartment the elevator. The elevator ain't working. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, what is that about? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, dude. I don't know what that says right there. Blood. Blood something. Okay. Is that my radio? Suffering. Might be. Oh, that was a place we can enter. What does that stand for? Oh, uh. I don't know what that sound effect supposed to be. What do I do? Freaking jiggle the handle, then all of a sudden just like, oh crap. Just jiggle the handle. Oh God, where am I? And then kick the door with my foot or something. Oh! What the? I don't want to go in here. Just, just, oh. Okay. Oh, I haven't seen that that creature before. I don't know what that is. 
Did the boxes, where are they? Oh yeah, where are your boxes? He took care of your boxes for you. What a gentleman, whatever, I'm exhausted, I should go to sleep. Yeah, you see something like that as soon as you walk into your apartment and all your boxes are just gone and you're just ready to go to bed. You're okay with that. Maybe I should shut my door. Okay, I'll just leave it open and go right to bed. Not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, and now we wake up in the middle of the night. Let me guess. Do I need to get a sip of water? Can I have a flashlight? <gasps> Where are the walls? You need to go to sleep? I don't want to go to sleep. Why'd I do that? Shit. Shit. I didn't want to go to sleep. I was fixated on, on this. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, I was fixated on that. Oh, dude, I knew, oh, that shadow. I knew I seen something out there the first night. I knew it. And then now look, oh, that sucks. That means that I miss whatever it wanted me to see getting up at that time or whatever the hell was going on it wanted me to see something and i totally just goofed it i i effed it all up oh okay whatever um yeah i noticed that the boxes are all in the bathroom no is that you don't want me to register that what's going on with my mirror dude okay you want me just to go straight out into the hallway for some odd reason you're not even telling me why i'm just guessing now you're not even telling me why can't use that. Let me get. What was that? Should I head up? I'm not getting no. There's no objectives. So that's one downfall of this game is that you're not directing the player on where to go. And I'm curious, what is the point of this? Is that. Huh. Interesting. And interesting. Oh, every time I turn the corner, I feel like it's just going to be sitting there. RC. I don't even know what that stands for. Oh! Is he getting closer? What's in there? Looks like he's jamming out himself. Center just. <laughs> Why is it behind? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why is it behind the cardboard a little bit this time? Huh. And it seems like there's more boxes in the in the bathroom. Once again, not, not telling me anything. All right. I guess I'm just going to... Yep. We don't even get to... Just open the door. There's no animation for the door opening. Now it's just... Oh. Oh. Wherever you go, I'll always be there with you. I'll be there. Oh, moving stuff on me, huh? Is that... Is that the point? Is of you moving stuff on me? I'm supposed to just kind of notice these little moves. I'm just supposed to notice these little moves. I can't even. Um, what is that black thing right there? Was that a thing? Out into the hall we go. No, are we resetting again? Oh, 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 oh my God. You got an eyeball in your chest, man. Look at their tiny little... You know what? Honestly, the more and more I look at you, I feel more bad for you than scared of you. At first glance, we're scared, all right? Anybody playing. You're like, oh my God, that is terrifying looking. But then I look at you a little bit more and I just feel bad. You got no jaw. You got this slanted skull. 
You got an eye poking out your chest, no arms, and you got tiny little baby feet. Are you thirsty? Do you need a glass of water? How would you even drink it? Do you need some Visine for your eyeball? What's that? Is there something on his counter? Interesting. Don't, oh my God, don't freaking look at me. <laughs> Is that it? Oh God, now it's gonna be in here with me? Is that what you're saying? Boop, out the box, right? <laughs> Oh! Ah, I shouldn't have said those things about you. Oh! I should not have spoken those words about you between these walls. That was interesting. That was interesting. Thank you for playing. This game was created in two weeks for the My First Game Jam. But there you go. Behind these walls. That was fun. That was fun. It was different. Um, kind of like still, just like your basic uh, short horror game, like a very linear type game. You go point A, point B, and then it triggers on to the next thing or it loads up the next thing. And I like that. I like it when a game is a bit linear and you can just progress forward and you're not kind of caught up in all the different elements and just things of the game that can totally snag you up. Um, only criticism I have of the game is no sense of, of objective. Nothing was telling me to do things. I basically was just guessing. It's just like, oh, um, let me look at everything around. Like you do in a game, right? You look at everything, see what it is that's interactable. You search for that. And then when I was finding nothing, then I go to the doors, right? And then finally a door would open all the doors would be like locked and I couldn't open them and then I'd find one that would open and then I would go through all the doors find the next one that opened and then just kind of continue on like that so it was a lot of just guessing a lot of just trial and error everything else was fine I like the feeling of the game the mechanics for the most part were fine um the monster it wasn't there wasn't too like a jump jump scary moments there the monster at first glance was kind of creepy looking but then once like i said when i got closer and i was kind of you know analyzing what this monster everything that entails this monster it was like you know what dude i kind of feel bad for you <laughs> but th that's all i'm gonna say about this game because once again it is a jam game so it's not like um i mean quick quick amounts of time you know or i should say not a lot of time goes into these games they're meant to be made quickly so they're always usually rough around the edges and when i find a jam game that's actually pretty good for being a jam game you know that's awesome i love to come across games like that but jam games they're meant to be rough around the edges really that's my takeaway for this game is like hey keep on doing what you're doing you're doing f just fine in this in this road just focus on giving the player um just, a, just a missions something that we know that we need to accomplish instead of coming into the game and just like I don't know what's going on I mean it said between these walls and I don't even really understand what that means when I think about it between these walls what's between the walls the monster wasn't between the walls well he kind of came through the ceiling but he was outside at first for the most part right yeah so I don't know but yeah, that's what I would say. Objectives. Give the player missions. Let us know what you want us to do so we kind of have an idea of what's going on with the game. So I'm going to end the video right here. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you. Peace.